It's information about the eclipse, what to do, what not to do. So, of course, we asked our chief meteorologist, Mike Nelson, to break it all down for us about what's fact and what's fiction okay. here. Okay. Well, these are very important. You yes. have to have adequate eye protection, but the question is, can I find them anymore? I guess can a I few here not? and there. Yeah, hold on to those for just a second. <laughs> and like I have all right of now. this information, uh, by the way, posted up on Facebook. I've written a, a pretty extensive article. It's a giant, oh my gosh. Go to Mike Nelson 7 News. I'm going to leave it pinned up on my Facebook page uh, throughout the weekend for you. But let's go through just a little bit of the uh, stuff that on these glasses. What you want to look for, look at the band there. You have to see those symbols that they meet the requirements. So you want to look on the side of your glasses to make sure it says those things. And look at the bridge. Look for the name of the company, in this case, Rainbow Symphony. They are one of the companies that is quality. And there's a whole bunch of them. If you go again to my Facebook page, I have the information to get to that. But now, a couple of things are going to happen when the eclipse occurs. Nocturnal animals become active, and so chickens will start to, to make noise. Roosters will begin to crow, and animals, you want to look around a little bit if you're in the path of totality because take in what the birds are doing as well. It gets kind of noisy. Speaking of that, ancient cultures in many areas would think the sun was falling asleep and they'd make they'd bang on drums and they'd make noises to try and wake up the sun some other myths out there in korea and the vikings they thought that the dogs were eating the sun a pack of wolves eating the sun in china they was believed that dragons would devour the sun this is a good one the hindu deity rahu would swallow the sun and because he had been beheaded by hindu gods it would come back out from his neck because he'd been beheaded. Interesting stuff. And the Greeks thought that the gods were angry. In Native American cultures, many the Indian tribes would shoot flaming arrows to try and relight the sun. Fascinating stuff. All right.